Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Rhonda. Um, if you have never watched me, I hope you join in today. Um, I have um, promised a few keto dishes. Uh, me and Russ, we just went uh, full force into it. Um, so I'm gonna be making our dinner for tonight. <clears throat> now, um, if you've watched me at all, you know I really like to just use simple ingredients, things that you may have on hand. Um, with keto, sometimes that gets just a little bit difficult. But um, I am going to make some um, keto-friendly um, chicken alfredo with fettuccine. Now, I know what you're thinking already. Fettuccine, lol, that's pasta. Well, we have found these little miracle noodles and that is truly the name miracle noodles and um, we um, they sell these at different places they've had them in Walmart before um, it's normally over by the mushrooms and these are made from um, it's plant-based noodles but um, they are very low carb it is um, one net carb for um, for a serving, which is about three ounces. Um, I know that don't sound mu like much, but if you've watched your carbs all day, and uh, we do try to do that, um, we try to keep our carbs around 20 a day. So, I'm gonna show you just a little shortcut. Now, you can boil your chicken. You can go ahead and do all the things you need to do, however you want chicken. But um, I did go to Costco, and I got me a rotisserie chicken. And um, I'm just gonna cut that up. But um, you'll see that making uh, the keto uh, chicken alfredo with fettuccine the only thing that's different really is the noodles because if you make your own alfredo sauce you know this is a uh, pretty much keto friendly so uh, you got your butter your heavy whipping cream your cheese some garlic um, some cream cheese all these things you can have on the keto diet so yay hallelujah um, the only thing like I said is the noodles and we're gonna change that up and I'm gonna show you how um, we use these little plant-based noodles and um, and it's only five calories, it says, per serving two if you're watching your calories. Now, if you're watching the calories, you know the sauce is going to be a little iffy on that. But I'm, I'm just going to cut, go ahead and cut my chicken up here. And uh, before we start making the Alfredo sauce. So, you know, this can be really, really good. Um, one of the things that we miss while we are doing this little diet is our pasta. Um, we love our pasta dishes. Lord Russell can eat spaghetti every night. He loves it. And um, I tend to love the Alfredo and um, shrimp, Alfredo, all those pasta dishes. I mean, it is just the best. So I wanted to find a nice alternative. Um, we have tasted some of the noodles and blah. Oh, Jesus, this ain't even close. Lord, what were they thinking? Um, but this one has been pretty good to us, this Miracle Noodle. And um, there's another one they sell at Walmart. I cannot think of the name. It's pretty good, too. But the trick for these is, now, when you open it, you're going to think, oh, my word, it smells like dirt or something. But it is... Um, plant-based. Uh, the one we buy at Walmart is actually from mushrooms, and I know that sounds really weird, but um, it, I, I mean, I really like it. I really do. I'm not just saying that I'll tell you the truth, um, but it's really good. But the trick is for these little noodles is that you have to rinse them really good and um, then you're going to boil them in water just like you would do your pasta. Don't just throw something in these noodle sugar and think uh, it's, it's going to be a go because it's going to be a no. Trust me. Um, so I'm going to just drain these noodles out and um, go ahead and start my water. And I'm um, going ahead and start cooking my sauce and uh, getting this supper on the road. All right, y'all. I am um, going to season my noodle, my water 
water for my noodles just like I would normally do it. I'm gonna put some salt in here. Um, I'm gonna put a little garlic powder. And um, as soon as this comes to full boil, which it does not take long, I'm gonna drop those noodles in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a stick of butter in here and let this start melting down for my sauce. And uh, I'm going to, where's my little garlic press? I'm gonna go ahead and put some garlic in here, some fresh garlic um, to start cooking in that butter. Well, I dropped it. Come back here, sucker. I'm just gonna put some fresh garlic in there. That really makes a difference, I think. This thing's so big and bulky. Arr. We're gonna get it though. Now, the one trick with this sauce, you wanna cook it low and slow. You do not wanna have it all um, on a high heat. Unlike the noodles here, that's just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these noodles in. See these noodles, y'all? This is what it looks like. It, and um, I know what- What are they made out of? Um, plants. They're made out of plants. Plant based. Plant based, yes. We're gonna get all this in here. I'm gonna get a little spoon. Yeah. Cause we want it all. We don't want to skimp on that, do we? Ooh, all right. Let's we'll get this garlic in here. Well, then set it down on the job. But anyway, like I was saying, you don't want to cook this um, at a real high. First of all, you're gonna. Um, your fats will start separating. It'll just be one greasy mess. So just do it low and slow. And um, we're gonna whisk it after it starts going. There you go, got that good garlic in here. That's gonna give it some good flavor. So we're gonna melt this down. Now, I am gonna add just some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna go with about two cups at first. Go in here and start whisking that good. Now that garlic cooked down just a little bit and uh, it's starting to smell really good. We'll just start with two cups. And uh, now, for it to be really good and creamy, I'm gonna put about four ounces of cream cheese in here. Um, that's gonna help. Also on the keto diet, you know, you have to get your little fats in and everything. So that's gonna help with that and the creaminess and all the good things. I'm gonna just kind of mash this cream cheese here up. You don't wanna have lumps, I'll tell you that. So that's why one, one reason we're gonna cook it low and slow as well. Yeah, just gonna give it a minute to, uh, just give it a minute to loosen up there. All right, it's starting to melt. This cream cheese is melting. I'm gonna go ahead and season it just a little bit. Put a little bit of salt. Of course, you know, I'm gonna put some black pepper in it. I'm gonna put some black pepper in these noodles too, why not? I'm gonna do just a little splash of accent. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in here. Now that cream cheese has started thickening it up just a little bit, but we're also gonna add that Parmesan cheese in there. This is a really super so, uh, simple sauce to just throw together in no time. Um, I know some people pay a lot of money in the store for Alfredo sauce, but it's so easy to make at home. And if you, even if you're not on keto, this is something that you can, um, uh, if you don't know how to make it, you can just whip it up. This is not coming out too great, so took the lid off. All right, we're gonna roll this back down because it's starting to boil. We don't want that. Now, I'm just gonna mix this Parmesan cheese in here. Got our noodles just getting happy over here, doing their thing. 
I'm making a mess, but it's all right. I'm gonna clean it. Now, um, I love to just use fresh Parmesan, but I looked in two different stores and I could not get it. So we're gonna have to go with the good old bag version. This, I, this was just a partial, a little bit in that bag. So we're gonna open this one up. Now I'm gonna add probably about a cup of um, cheese in here. And this cheese, it'll start thickening it right up. It's just gonna be creamy, dreamy. I'm telling you, this is good. Look at that, that cheese is starting to melt. Yes, Lord, it's gonna be good. We're just gonna let that cheese melt in there. And this is almost done. This took literally, I mean, it's been about 10 minutes for everything when I started uh, chopping my chicken up. Um, now, like I said, I did take the shortcut with the Costco, <laughs> with the Costco bird, but uh, you can cook your own chicken. You cannot, $5 for that big old chicken. And I mean, that chicken sitting up there like, mm, like that. He's a big boy, so you're gonna get a lot of chicken off of it. Now, um, I've got my chicken cut, and what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this sauce and just let it start uh, getting warmed up. But first, I'm gonna taste this sauce because um, I wanna make sure that I have got, I'm just gonna use this little spoon, make sure I, it's salted enough. Mmm, it is perfect. It doesn't need salt. It doesn't need anything. Um, you can not put your chicken in the pot. You can pour this over your chicken. You can bake it. You can do whatever you want with this. But look at this, y'all. This sauce is delicious. I mean, just delicious. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Um, and I know I've already got fresh garlic in there, but it does give it just a little different um, different flavor. What did I do with my garlic powder? Oh, it's hiding behind the cheese. <laughs> But it's really, really good. I just love the. It would have bit. bit me. I, I would have got got today. I would have got got today. All right. Now I'm gonna pour this chicken in here and let it start warming up. Like I said, it's completely cooked, so we don't have to worry about that. Stump it right on in here. There we go. Getting it mixed up. Y'all, this looks so good. I could eat this just with the chicken and the sauce. Mm -hmm. Just delicious. It looks yummy. It is. Now I'm gonna check on my uh, little noodles over here. See what it's telling me. It's been boiling down for about five minutes, I'll say. I'm just gonna kind of feel them. I'm gonna let them go for a little bit more. They, um, you know, it, it's not real noodles, but um, it is a great alternative. I remember the first time I got the spaghetti one, and I think it's called Pasta Zero, the ones in Walmart. And um, what did you tell me, Russell? Uh, you said this is a game changer well, it, because you couldn't have pasta and you craved yeah, the, pasta. Yeah, the texture of it is very similar. Yeah, he said this is a game changer. Like it I could. It was a. Uh, yes. Because I mean, you want stuff you can't have, obviously. Right. Because you you're depriving yourself. Of yes. It, so. yeah. That and I will say uh, those low carb tortilla. Um, flour tortillas, those were also a game changer because we do so many things with those. I'm telling you, we'll do breakfast burritos with them. We'll do uh, tacos. Yeah, you go um, to Mexican restaurant and get you some fajitas. We do that. We will go get us oh, some fajitas. Man. Pull out our own. Swap out those tortillas. Yes, and I'll fry them just a little bit just to get them a little crispy. Lord Jesus help us. It ain't gotta be terrible, y'all. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. You can um, change things so uh, to suit what you're craving for sure. But uh, we do a little, all kind of things with those tortillas though. You can even make little desserts with like cream cheese and different things with those tortillas. Well, my sauce is done, y'all, and it looks delicious. 
The chicken is um, warm. It's ready to go. I'm going to put a little parsley in this. and um, But these noodles, I'm just going to uh, let them cook for a few more minutes. And um, I'm going to get Russell a plate ready. Are you ready? Russell's ready for a plate. I'm always excited about the uh, when it's my time. All right. Well, we'll be back with a little taste. All righty, y'all. It has been um, about... 12 minutes actually and we have got dinner ready just that quick and uh, Russell come on in he's gonna give us a little taste and uh, tell us what he thinks <laughs> hey y'all hey hey else is having their dinner yes lord if y'all hear all that racket our dog's over she's in the corner just she's she's off in the corner making a racket She's scarfing her dinner down. Yes. Wishing she was having some hours. Yes, probably so. You'd want to tell her to go eat. I did. She was just sitting there staring at me like I was going to give her something. <laughs> she had food there. Yeah. Anyway, so Renfro, that's good. Good job. She's a diva. Good job, Rennie. Good that, job. That's your diva. That's my Hers. little diva. My little diva dog. Anyway, um, you know what we got? Yeah. You, um... Saw me cooking it. I did. But you have not tasted it. Uh-uh. I'm curious because so, um, I don't know if we've had these noodles before. We did. We have had those yeah. once. Um, I couldn't find the, the Pasta Zero um, at Walmart this time, which I will say if you live near Publix, Publix has them. So we these um, on Amazon. He, he did order these on and, Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if y'all Yeah, if you want it. You can get them in a grocery store and stuff, you but can. we couldn't find them. Where were we? Publix? I was, they were just out. But Publix did have them. Um, Walmart was just out of them. So, um, and this, uh, the carbs on these. It's a pretty good budget meal, too, isn't it? As far as for keto, because keto is rather expensive. Yeah, it can be. Well, it can be. But um, I'll also, hold on, let me get you the package, and I'll tell you. Let me get you the package, and I'll tell you. I think I already said what it was, but um, the carbs on it was one net gram of four, three ounces, and there's two servings. So, um, so four servings, four carbs, correct? For the whole bowl. For the whole bowl, That's which good. was two packs. We did two packs. That's good. So um, not bad at all, and our chicken was zero, and um, cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, butter, all that does not have carbs in it. So this is yet again another- That's really, really low. Really yeah. low, like the pizza, the whole pizza you could have had for four point, for four you carbs. You try to do less than 20 carbs a day. Yes. You figure that's one of your meals and you've only got four. Yeah. You're well on your way to doing yeah. that. Yeah, especially if you've made it to dinner or maybe you've ate more carbs through the day and you need a low carb dinner. Mm -hmm. This is perfect for that. Yeah, well, I'm gonna dig yeah. in. Dig in. We give it a try. Give it just a little try. Look, look at that. It looks good, it's creamy looking. Mm. And the noodles, I mean, show them the noodles. See the noodles, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks legit. It looks like fettuccine noodle. It looks legit. Mm -hmm. Some of that chicken. That chicken was really tender. I just sampled a little, little piece of it. I'll tell you what. That was good. It's really good, good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, chicken's got great flavor. Yeah. Well, I didn't cook that, but... Well, it's still got great flavor with Thank the sauce. Thank you, Costco. <laughs> the sauce gives it great flavor. It really does. The sauce is, the sauce is banging. sauce is cheesy and creamy. Mm-hmm. Rich. Just that little bit of cream cheese gets it really creamy, just decking it. It really is yeah, good. It's, it's, it's good. Real it good. It is. Really rich. Yeah. And then that cheese. Yes, Lord. You can top it with a little more cheese, but I didn't. This ain't diet food, y'all. I mean, it doesn't feel you, like ain't it. ain't no really no diet food there. That's a good, pretty good meal to me. It is. It is. And you can just uh, have a little vegetable on the side or a little salad with it. And, um, but... He, he really don't even care for sides no, a lot of times. That. He don't. Just a bowl of this, be good. Yeah. So there it is, y'all. It's going to be a good supper, y'all. It's going to be a good supper. And listen, we've went kind of back and forth on the, on the you know, what we'll be doing with the content. And I think I'm going to continue this 
um, through January and still just be offering you some little tips and stuff. Yeah. Let us know in the con in the comments. Um, do are you enjoying the keto stuff? Well, we're, we're showing you what we're, we're kind of doing. Yes, you know? we, we're just showing. You don't want to waste food and cook stuff. Just yes. to show people what you know what I mean. We, we basically everything that's been on this channel has been. We eat. Is there is it's that been, dinner? We yes. eat every bit of it. You know. That's and, exactly uh, right. We're trying to lose some weight and eat a little bit better. And yeah. The low carb seems to agree with both of us so that's what we're that's what we're doing it's not going to turn into a low carb channel or <laughs> health and fitness channel that's not happening in no time soon you know well and you not can taking y'all with me on my walks <laughs> show you my, my my rings every day you know yeah we won't uh, do that we'll spare you although that. i do have a t-shirt that says that i'm just here to close my rings i thought that was a pretty good one yeah but um and you can totally turn this into uh you know you can just add yeah. your regular pasta that's right and i It'll be very good. Yeah. Just, I mean, you know. Uh, the sauce is it's, delicious. It it's is delicious. And like you I know. said, don't go buying that sauce in the, in the store. You can make it so quick. Y'all see that, how fast I whip it up. hard to the to no. the novice in the room. I can tell you, it look, you know, no, it it's, look that hard. It's quick and easy, and, and uh, too, it's I mean, so yeah. much better than jar. Um, now, you know. No shame on you if you do the jar. That's it is fine easy too. To just open a jar. It is I easy. Mean, it is. Easy. But this you know? is um it, if you don't have no wet heavy whipping cream, it is easy to do. But um this really, really does taste and the noodles, delicious. If you are doing low carb, the noodles fantastic. They have great texture and they taste like pasta. They do not taste like some weird you know, because it's plant based, it, it's it's not a yeah. weird off putting taste. It tastes like noodles. That's yeah. what it tastes like. And like I said, don't forget to just rinse them. I wash them really good yeah. because when you open them, they do smell like almost like a, a mushroom or the yeah. dirt kind of smell. But um, just I pick them up, wash them up, and then I just boil them just like I would do. And I I put past uh, salt and pepper and garlic powder, and um, after I drain them, put just a little bit of butter and um, pour good. my sauce That's over. Good. I can tell you that. It's good. It's good. You know, textures are big with me. I, if, if something don't, yeah. like, I, I don't know what it is. I've always been that way. Like a banana. Like he a banana. won't eat a banana because of the texture. Yeah, exactly. That right there, if you hadn't told me that was not a fettuccine noodle and just put it in a bowl, I'd have been like, huh. That's pretty good. That noodle's good. You know, yeah. I would not have known it wasn't pasta, and that's the truth. Yeah. So, and they, and this particular company does make um, angel hair, spaghetti, all and the. Link will be in the description. Yeah. You wanna and it is Miracle Noodle. I don't know if y'all, if it is Miracle Noodle, but like I said, there's a Pasta Zero as well. Yeah. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Hope you, you learned something you today. Die, we in there with you. Stay strong. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Till next time, y'all. Peace.